What is up, man? NFL 25 gamers. In today's episode of Blitz of the Day, we're going to focus on how to get two way pressure out of the sub 236, even another blitz we like to use out of this play. So we're scrolling through this formation, and we've found a lot of plays that we like here out of the sub 236, even that can be found in the Houston Texans defensive playbook. And uh, so, you know, what we're trying to find if, if, we're, if we're trying to set up a two way pressure, potentially two way pressure, is we want to get the right guy blitzing, and we want to get the left guy blitzing to basically create the same concept we were already doing. But this is just going to allow us uh, a little easier setup. And here, the play that we're going to use is the silver shoot pinch from the sub-236 even. And this play is very simple. We're basically just going to run it like we ran all of our other plays. What I like to do with this is I like to um, base the line, press coverage. I like to use disguise cushion on this one. And then I'll crash my line out. I'll spread my defensive line. And then if I, you don't have to re-blitz your linebackers. I personally like to. I'll re-blitz both linebackers. And you'll see we're going to get quick two-way pressure out of the edges here. Let's take a look at that in instant replay <laughs> and um, check out what happens. So we basically, I mean, and that's the thing, guys, the sugar concept that we were talking about earlier, you know, you can do it out of sugar blitz, you can do it out of sugar three seam, you can do it out of many plays. It's not just that play, so, you know, it's just a, it's just a basic overload concept that we use every in, in almost all of our blitz of the days. Uh, so you can find it out of many different plays. So obviously, guys, I want you to check out some other the, some of the other plays in this formation. But anyway, um, the point is, if we take a look here, you see you're going to get two-way. And basically, that right right side looks exactly like Sugar. And the left side looks almost like, identical to the uh, overload, except it comes off the edge and not the B-gap. Because the blitz angle of him, of that DB is, is different. It's a little shorter. You see this uh, short blitz angle right here? So anyways, guys, uh, so real quick, the setup is very simple. Baseline press. Spread line crash out, reblitz both outside linebackers. That's one of the most common setups out of any formation. And uh, the 236 makes it very simple to do that. It's all global. You don't have to make the blitz angles on your own. You don't have to manually reblitz anybody. And I think that's very important uh, in this formation. You can also spread your linebackers if you want, which is kind of cool because now you can, you know, play the. If the back's on this side of the field, off the left side, now Jackson's in a really good position to defend him. So a lot of different things you can do with this formation. That's why I can't break, wait to break it down in a potential scheme of the week uh, content. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video. That's how you get two-way pressure. Real quickly before we get out of here, why is it important to have two-way pressure? Well, if your opponent starts blocking his running back, he'll pick up one side, but the other side will still come in. That's why you need two-way pressure. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the 2-3-6 formation or just like hearing me talk about uh, Blitz for three minutes, leave a like rating or retweet this video. I really appreciate it. And also, guys, if you have any questions, feedback, or need to let me know anything that's going on, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching today. Hope you guys have a great afternoon, and be sure to check out some of the Scheme of the Week content and uh, video of the day content coming later. Thanks for watching, guys.